Hey everybody, <clears throat> how's it going? Getting over a little bit of sickness. We've had uh, we've had the corona hit the house this week. <clears throat> I didn't test positive. Mind you, I only took the one test, but it was negative. My wife, however, the master gardener, she tested positive. So trying to avoid each other in the same house for the last four or five days has not been fun. And uh, it's been pretty taxing too, to be honest with you. Uh, chasing each other around with uh, Lysol. But uh, she's feeling a little better. <clears throat> Still real congested and uh, Still trying to work that stuff up. But she has ventured out of the bedroom a little bit more the last day or so. I just feel like I got the croup. You ever had that? You know what I'm talking about? You old timers like me? Got the croup? Just tired and Yeah, yeah, I know. I had to go get the mail. I hadn't been down here in a day or two. Uh really tired and sore and <clears throat> I don't know if I don't get it I don't know how I don't know don't know what uh, let's see here we've got uh, yeah medical bills imagine that Tucker Old medical bills. Bet you folks don't ever get any of them, do you? Medical bills just uh, seem to just pile up. This video is probably going to be short this week, and I know a lot of y'all are going, Phew, thank goodness. But uh, don't really have any content, and I honestly debated on whether or not to even do one. And it was actually my wife who said, uh, you gonna do a video this week? And I said, I just don't know if I really wanna do one. Kinda like the US mail, you know what I mean? Nothing can stop the mail. So I'm gonna try to do a video. Had a pretty good storm blow through early part of the last week and uh, knocked some trees down, so. I may put a picture or two of those up where we, I had to get out and clean up some road and that kind of stuff. Garden's about over. The weather's been pretty nice actually, but it's slowing the garden down. Our tomatoes are done pretty much, but it's really hot one day and decent. I'm not going to say cool, but decent the next day. And that's made things slow down a little bit. Some canas are growing. Just mowed the grass last weekend and it already needs it again. Oh, looky there. This is a cypress vine. Starting to bloom. I didn't even know it did bloom. The balloon flowers are finally looking a little bit better. Yeah, they're looking a little bit better. It's fairly warm out here today, but the humidity's low. And that's a good thing. That is a good thing. I was actually supposed to do a family reunion today. But I kind of figured that's probably not the smartest thing in the world to do. 
after uh, just you know coming off of the sickness and COVID and I really don't want to give it to anyone else and I don't know that uh, I don't know like I said I don't want to give it to anyone I would feel horrible if I gave it to someone else yeah I would just feel horrible if I gave it to someone else so we're probably not gonna do that So, so to all my aunts and uncles and cousins and all of that, I love you and I miss you. But I sure wouldn't want to make you sick. I sure would not want to make you sick. So I believe I'm just going to have to set this one out. I'm sorry. Well, that's what happens when you uh, let them go for too long. You get these monsters and I didn't bring a bag out here I don't even think these would fit in a bag didn't bring a bag and I uh, didn't put the mail back up either so we're gonna set these right here Yeah, quality production. <laughs> Went and put my deer camera out yesterday. Didn't have to worry about running into anybody down there in the woods. You know what I mean? Wasn't like I was going to give anybody anything down in the woods. I'm going to try to pick this guy. Ooh. right there not sure what this is growing in the asparagus but it's a pretty flower whatever it is the master gardener before she got sick actually come out and thin the whole bunch of stuff out which probably didn't I mean it helped the looks and the maneuverability of the garden but uh, I think she kind of overdid it and her immune system is already fairly weak and uh, oh, I think she got out here and did a little too much if she did anything out here, it was too much. Look, I'm not waiting on you. You either get out of there. Come on. Come on, kitty cat. Anyway, I'm not sure. 
it's one of those things to where you can sit here and try to think about where you might have caught it but uh, does that really do any good because you know I'm not sure I'm not sure if that's ready or not I mean it's pretty but I thought they were supposed to be oblong I thought eggplant was supposed to be oblong you know what I mean that's definitely not oblong anyway what I was getting at is we kept you know replaying where we'd been and for her to catch that sweat just pouring off of me it seems like even with the air conditioner on it seems like I can't quit sweating uh, you know but you know we went to Walmart uh, we've been around other people and nothing that we hadn't done before so you know it was just one of those things we're lucky that uh, we're just now uh, you know maybe the world is starting to get their grasping their hands around this covid thing and uh, maybe we're on the tail end of it we're lucky we didn't we hadn't already caught it i guess is what i'm trying to say don't you look If I can keep the camera still. They are everywhere on this plant. Everywhere. And it just keeps going. So I'd say I would, you know, throw some seven dust or something on it, but it just keeps going. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Well, folks, I really don't have a whole lot more to show you. Uh, I'm being followed by the Mutt and Jeff there. They just like tripping people. These things, these guys were supposed to be going to uh, new homes. And I guess that person backed out. We got two that's got angel wings. Uh, don't know why. Sometimes it's stress. Uh, sometimes it's genetics. I don't I don't know it's the first ducks that we've had on the farm that actually caught angel wings so I wouldn't think it's genetics but I, I don't know and they're both uh, gonna be drakes it's it's looking like they're old enough now you can actually tell the bigger ones uh, we got two drakes and five hens left that one right there might be a drake one in the tail end uh, he's not quite as big as the other ones but yeah it's it's the two drakes definitely the two drakes definitely have angel wings Tucker don't get in that pond don't you do it folks I'm gonna get back in the house um, got some squash got the mayo I got into a mess, a mess of seed ticks yesterday putting up my uh, my trail camera so I can get a look at some of the little, our big old deer rows. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I've got it lined up where I want it yet. I still haven't got my stand out yet. It's still way too hot. And there's still way too many creepy crawlies in the woods. Like I said, I got covered in seed ticks yesterday and spider webs i like to hit every tree in the woods running from spider webs you know what i'm talking about i hate them things 
walking through there and you just get them all over you and they get in your beard and your face and the ears they get in your ears i hate that but uh it's about all i'm gonna do me and this guy are gonna go back in the house and uh i don't know set an air conditioner find something to eat don't really want to go out don't want to catch nothing and don't want to give anybody anything but i hope you folks are doing well and i hope god blesses you and keeps you and we'll keep you guys we'll keep you guys <laughs> we'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye Those are lights.